You know, if they, they'll, they'll fall to their death. The um, enemy bullets pass through all the enemies but kill the player. The, uh, the player, although the player bullet, which is the laser, that only kills enemies but kills his allies, the, the astronauts, you know? So it's like, wait a minute, the enemies can't kill themselves, but you could kill your own guys, you know? Like, uh, okay. And then the enemies collide with the player, but not with themselves, you know? So it's, that's kind of weird, you know? How does that work? And uh, so really, it's like heads they win, tails you lose. That's, 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 uh, that's the essence of the Defender Heroes. That's the essence of point out. <laughs> And so the, uh, okay, so this was, this was kind of cool, the, the graphic effects, which, you know, we should have video and stuff, but, you know. I mean, Larry, Larry's like a 19, Larry went back here, was in like a 1970, I'm in like 1980. I'm still doing slideshows, but we should have all kinds of video here. I know it, I won't play the game yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, the, there's like these cool colors, like, like if you look at the, the Williams and the Fender and stuff, that was like a really cool, um, I think we had three. We had three colors in the 16 palette that were the cyclers, right? Exactly. And the other ones were fixed. Colors. Exactly. Yeah. And so those colors would be very vibrant, and it was uh, it was it's just a cool pattern. Like one of the coolest pattern was like five, five cyclers. Yeah, five cyclers. Okay. Five. Wow. Okay. Man, we blew our budget on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Fixed. Yeah. But the coolest, like the player um, blazer. And, and actually, the the, 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 um, the shots, the enemy shots had this random, um, they kind of cycled the color and then, then flashed white periodically, yeah, kind of okay. randomly. And it gave this kind of a sparkly, mm -hmm. yeah. cool sparkly, you know. You know, I mean, human beings love shiny, sparkly things. <laughs> you know? it's, it's very, so, you know, like, uh, World of Warcraft, everything must glow and be shiny and sparkly. You know, this is, this is kind of a universal uh, thing. So then, 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 I guess the, uh, probably the coolest effect in the game, and this was Sam's routine, was the enemy explosions. The enemy explosions or the player? The enemy explosions. Okay, yeah. The enemy explosions. And maybe, can you tell about it? Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. So getting back to the story, with you wanted, you wanted this little, the little color cycle animation. I said, right. I was thinking that you're going to see a lot of explosions. And I wanted variety. And I thought the best way to do that would be, um, well, first of all, I, I let, because we had, a, we had this powerful 6809 that could do anything, I and thought, why not? Compute anything that's computable. Yeah. <laughs> so why not, why not do something that's like, a, today you call it a particle system, and just take pieces of your, of your, of your actual artwork and disperse them uh, across the screen. And, um, and then I, and then, to make, add more variety, I, uh, I added the, the effect where, depending on where you hit it, it would disperse away from that point. So if you hit it on the top of the object, it would, it would explode downward. If you hit it in the middle, it would explode uh, in all directions equally, et cetera. And, the, um, and then you added, you added the concept of substituting for the, uh, the, the pods, you know, what do you call them, the little swarmers. Oh. You know, the swarmer was so tiny, you only had four little bits. Right. So you put you replaced it with another piece of artwork and then blew that up. Well, actually, I think I think what we did is we I think we ended up like blowing up four of everything. Oh, okay. It turned out that you know just blowing the thing up into its bits was not impressive. So when you actually blow when you blow something up, it's four of it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like uh, and that and that was kind of the solution. It was just okay. You know, just type the number four into the. Code. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, okay, five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. okay. Uh, so anyway, and then the player explosion, which was, uh, I guess, just think. Yeah, because the player explosion, I had the whole processor. Yeah. Because, yeah. because everything else had stopped, so I did fireworks. Yeah, so we just, yeah, actually everything died, and we, we didn't even refresh the screen anymore. So yeah. That was, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's, the, there's the gratuitous player explosion. <laughs> and, it actually, and, it, and actually, as it, as it fades out, it turns like red. Yeah, and, yeah. And dims out. And it's pretty cool. Um, that's one of the, uh, this is actually Stargate. Some uh, player, okay. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, so we had a problem with Bog. Sam was talking about this. Yeah. And uh, so we, this is pretty crazy. I mean, one thing we did was like have enemies come in different waves, like the landers would come in multiple waves. Um, then we had, um, uh, 
we cut back on explosion, we kill explosions, we abort them and stuff. Probably the coolest thing was that we just, it was like, when all else fails, we would just like take shit, take uh, enemies. And just throw them off the screen. And just throw them up, <laughs> throw them in the, in the universe, you know. Yeah. So just, so stuff would just be, yeah. we call it hypery. <laughs> and we just throw them out there and like people would go, but it was like, they, they wouldn't object. You know, it's like, you know, it's just like, oh, the enemy disappeared. Like, oh, I must have shot it. <laughs> so, and it was amazing what you could get away with. Um, okay, then this, this is the difficulty thing. Um, all right, yeah, the audio system's kind of cool. Um, where it was it basically, um, uh, this, uh, there was a uh, small CPU that, that fed a digital analog converter. And it's kind of interesting, like sound is a string of numbers that sound interesting, yeah. hopefully. I mean, it's just, it's just math. It's just like playing math, a math equation, like does it sound cool or not? Yeah, you could do a whole talk about the, yeah. the evolution of the sound. Yeah. 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 And so the, the uh, uh, but anyway, it's like, you know, so the software system, this is everything. The coolest thing, the game is monophonic and nobody ever realizes that. You know, and it's a very, uh, there's a very um, neat priority system that, yeah. that actually determines what is the most important sound you should be hearing at any given time. Right. And you really don't notice it. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. And, and, and also the other side effect is that whatever sound is there is loud. Yeah. You know, so you don't, you don't get like the 400 channels of mud problems. <laughs> um, uh, okay, this is some of the different routines. And... Uh, Actually, we can play the sound there. Uh, let's do it. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is like some of the routines, the sound routines and stuff. This is the organ. Now, did you do the organ, Sam? Yeah. Yeah. So, this is the organ, which uh, was uh, probably the most clever thing because. Um, you may need to explain this. I have to remember. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'll, explain, okay. I'll explain it. Anyway, it, it's, it, it basically it was a. Um, you take an 8 bit. The accumulator A, which is one of the registers. You take that, you increment it, you just keep incrementing it, and each bit is an octave off. You know, each bit is one half the frequency yeah. of the one that falls in. So basically you have an eight octave uh, sound. And and uh, and so then you you basically increment it, then you count all the bits that are one, and then you you know multiply that by an right, amplitude okay. yeah. and send that to the DAC. And so it creates this a massively fat organ sound. Yeah, it's a yeah. square wave octave. Yeah, yeah, octave. yeah, yeah. All these, so it's, it's very clever to, um, it's a way to turn the, like, eight bits into eight oscillators. Um, so here's some of the bugs. Um, oh, and then, and, then, and the pitch was just counting cycles. Right, and we actually, actually we had to do, to get it tuned up properly, we had to write a loop of self-modifying code <laughs> to, like, determine the right amount of no-ops. <laughs> to uh, basically, it, notes, it would, yeah. it would um, generate the uh, the code. Um, uh, so the, the, some of the interesting bugs, like there's uh, we call the invisible line, where since some enemies use sign math and some use unsigned math, um, there's a point in the screen where they run away from you, and you can kind of exploit that. And, and the uh, swarmers and the mutants are on opposite ends of the world. Right. So there, there's ones using signed and unsigned right. pairs for. And then we have, and then the bogging, which actually, you know, the bogging is kind of cool because the more you bog out, it turns out the players, the really good players fly really quick, which bogs everything out and it does collect collisions, hypers things. Um, and uh, then there's like the Y2K bug. <coughs> These were all features that were not, they were good features. So there it was, the final product. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, any questions? <laughs> so at any time, did you consider, instead of having thrust reverse up down to have just the joystick go left, right, up, down? And if so, did you not do that because you had more purist control with the scene? or? Actually, no, we actually, we, I wanted to use a joystick, and we couldn't find a vendor for a joystick. <laughs> so it was, like, it was like some new thing. It was like this new uh, concept, the joystick, and uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't find a, a good vendor of a joystick, so we, just, we said, ah, screw it, we'll just use 
up, down, and then a reverse button. So that's, and, and I think it plays a lot better than a joystick. Really uh, yes? Did you discover that the blog was happening? Did you feel like you had to deal with it or just let it, let it go? Or? Uh, we kind of discovered uh, like the first day of programming it. <laughs> <laughs> And so it was, it was something we were just fighting continually, continually. I mean, optimizing routines yeah. and doing all this stuff. Yes? What was the rationale for the frame change color after each wave on the uh, It was just some way of like, uh, some cool way of like showing the player what wave they're on. And, uh, and then like, I think the one is like the black <laughs> wave where it's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's black. It was just some cheap way of throwing something. There's, there's like the rationale of being to be added. No, not really. not really. I think the black, which I just scare people with the black wave. Uh, yes. How much code was shared with Robotron? I mean, the audio system used the same priority system as Robotron. Did anything else share code? Um, basically, it stole uh, Robotron stole all the operating system and the uh, you know it's like pretty much recycled uh, the whole damn thing. The Defender came. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, sound, the sound the sound was all done in a separate board. So and and, okay. and the sound the, the sound development kind of had its own evolution through, as games were being developed. So we gave sounds would be reused from one game to another sometimes. Yes. Hi. Can, um, I just think that you guys can answer your questions, but whoever's here for the Skippy lecture, when you guys are done asking your questions, we need this whole room emptied up before we can even start. Okay. okay. So and line up at the door. Okay. Thank okay. you. Yes. Yeah, I have a question for you. Um, a year ago, a video game came out by someone from your answer. Not now. Not now. Not now. Wait, Wait until they're done. Okay, so I was saying. A video game came out a year ago by Housemark and Sony Computer Entertainment called Resogun, and some critics have actually compared that game to the likes of Defender. So I was wondering, as the lead developer of Defender, what do you think about Resogun? Uh, that is a very, very cool game. I don't know if you, if you guys have played it. It's on the uh, PS4, is it? Yes. Yeah. And uh, that is an awesome game. Uh, probably the, the coolest uh, you know, game similar in style to Defender. It's awesome explosions and stuff. It's, it's great. It's, it's really great. Game. Yes. Um, I think there's a bug because the, the um, reverse button, that's the hardest thing for me. Sometimes it doesn't work. Is that software or hardware? It's probably hardware. It's hardware. It's, 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 you know, I can, no, no, I mean, <laughs> 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 We always play hardware. Sarah, is it, you, you, can you look at it? I'll look it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. I just checked it. It's fine. It's supposed to be hardware. <laughs> Um, well, we didn't even really have a budget, but um, I, I wasn't paying for it. Um, the um, the time was it was about nine months. Yeah. Okay, last one. Okay. Yes. Can you confirm a conspiracy theory? My friends and I, when we played this game, thought the hyperspace button was added purely to key quarters. Is that true? Uh, no. That that is actually that's just a rip off of asteroids um, or space wars has it too. Well, you would die some percentage of the time. Right. right? So it's a twenty percent. <laughs> It's like a 20% random death. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, yes, but, it, but it's like, I mean, it's risk reward. It's risk reward. So it's, it's you know, it costs you about five cents. <laughs> <laughs>